Hi guys, Gary from R Corporation here. Just want to give you guys a quick rundown on the differences between the Power Pack 2, the Arc Pack 715, and the Arc Pack 730. Okay, so we'll basically start off with all the outputs. Now, the Power Pack 2 has a single 12 volt socket, where the 715 and 730 both have twin 12 volt sockets. Okay, the Power Pack 2 has a dual USB port rated at 3.1 amps. The 715 and 730 have a single USB port rated at 2.1 amps. Okay, they all have 100 amp hour battery terminals for running high current devices. The 715 and 730 also have a 50 amp Anderson plug, which is an input and output, which means you can put charge in or take charge out of the unit. Okay, so the Power Pack 2 does not have a power inverter, whereas the 715 and 730, 715 has a 150 watt power inverter, the 730 has a 300 watt power inverter. So that's pretty much all the outputs. Okay, all these outputs are isolated by an isolation key here. So you can simply just turn it off and it'll cut all the power going in and out of the units. Okay, so we'll talk about the insides of the products now. So the brains of the units. The, all of them have a smart charging system. Okay, so the Power Pack 2 has a 1.5 amp charger which works both from DC, so from your car, or from AC, which is home power. The 715 has a 4 amp charger from AC but a seven amp charger from DC when you need it. Uh, the 730 has a seven amp charger from AC and a seven amp charger from DC. So it's a faster charger in both circumstances. Um, so the Power Pack 2 has basically an analog press to test system. So you press it, it gives you a battery indication right here. The 715 has a single button function. Okay. And this is basically preset to charge AGM, gel and lead acid batteries similar to the Power Pack 2. So all you basically do is hook your battery up and it's a plug and play unit. The screen has a voltage and battery output here. Now with the 730, it can actually charge more battery chemistries than the rest of them. So it can take an AGM, gel, lead acid, calcium and even a lithium iron phosphate battery now which is basically half the weight of conventional battery which makes it a lot more easier and um, easier to carry and a lot more portable. So this screen is actually a dual mode screen. Okay, so it's got basically the normal voltage that the 715 has and the battery output there. But what it also has is a net watts. So what that does, it actually calculates your current coming in versus your current coming out. And it gives you either a positive or a negative number. So if you're in the negatives, you'll know that eventually you'll need a recharge. So if you're in the positives, you're basically self-sufficient. And I can run you through some of those features on one of our units set up on our trailer back there. So here's our Arc Pack 730 basically set up in our exhibition trailer. It is running our TV, our one touch USB light, our 40 litre angle fridge, and it's basically hooked up to our 60 watt amorphous solar panels, which are putting power in now as the sun is shining. Okay, so if we're moving closer now to the screen itself, okay, you can actually see that we are in negative 41 watts. Okay, and it's obviously readjusting itself basically as the sun is going away on the panels. So if I pretty much take the fridge out here, you'll see that the unit is quickly recalculating based on the power draw from the TV itself and from the USB light as well, plus with the power coming in from the panels now. If I plug that back in, you'll basically see it readjusting itself once again. So I hope the information provided gives you a better understanding of our portable power pack range. For more information, you can log on to our website at www.arccorp.com.au. You can find your nearest retailer. But if you want to stay up to date, you can register either on our website or on our Facebook page. Safe travels and hope to see you out there.